as one of the founding members of the American College of Lifestyle Medicine from you know long many years ago, there are now there are thousands of physicians specializing in lifestyle medicine, and there are even in New York City there are hospital medical offices that specialize in lifestyle medicine. Sure. You know, so we do have much more acceptance. So I could be wrong, but you know, could be wrong, but but I don't think that most doctors see the incredible power that nutrition has to reverse these chronic illnesses, even lifestyle medicine physicians, mm -hmm. even plant-based doctors. They don't know the protocol and the methodology to take a person with asthma and use lifestyle and nutrition to have their asthma clear up and so it goes away completely, which requires some degree of um, you know, tweaking sure. the program. Sure. Like for example, um, it's important to get the people on inhalers with asthma, to get them off their beta agonists and rescue inhalers, which may mean the ability to, which may need you to increase their inhaled steroids temporarily so they can get off the beta agonists, which inflame the lung and cause chronic inflammation. And then we can eat the diet and add maybe um, juicing to help bring the levels of phytochemicals up in their tissues and get them and fix their fatty acid profiles and, get, and fix the nutritional density of every cell so the immune system functions normally, because you're not just enhancing the nutritional density of their diet, you're also simultaneously losing weight as we increase the nutrient density of their diet. So we increase the nutrient concentration of the cells so the immune system doesn't hyperreact. to nutrients. And, and also we're talking about the xenobiotic substances, in other words, drugs and chemicals and pollution and food um, plastics and all types of, um, that, that add to the natural the toxins the body makes so the, so the lungs are chronically inflamed become a ex exude waste products. So now we have this person eating healthy, immune system being fixed, and we're going to slowly decrease the medications once they pass three or four months of eating right, let's say, to get their nutrient up levels are up. And we're going to slowly reduce medication little by little to the point where they don't need as many medications, don't need as many inhaled, inhaled steroids. So it was a tapering that occurs over many months. And then at the point where you stop all medications, if there's a mild flare-up, which is then they can maybe fast at that point mm -hmm. to reduce the residual inflammation in anticipation of them being clean, clear of asthma the rest of their life, no longer to need inhalers, no longer to go anything emergency when they're emergency they can't breathe. So we see people make complete recoveries from asthma, recover from hay fever and, and environmental allergies and cat allergies and sensitivity to mold. We're talking about improving a person's health so they're not so fragile and they have more solid immune protection. There's somebody in my life right now, close to me, who uh, just, I mean, the allergies, they just went to the allergist and they're allergic to mold, cats, dogs, like they live out in the country, so they're always, you know, exposed to those kinds of things and just an animal lover through and through. I'm gonna play that clip for them. Yeah, they don't see, that the, see that there's very few see the connection between dietary excellence and allergic sensitivities and tolerance. Right. There's some, there's some, there is some thing that, so we're, we're saying here that it gives the potential for the person to at least have the hope right. of making a complete recovery from diseases that you wouldn't necessarily consider a nutritionally related disease, talking about rheumatoid arthritis and mixed connective tissue disease and, and um, you know, undifferentiated. We're talking about a, a whole of a hundred different types of autoimmune conditions sure. that are largely reversible with nutritional excellence.